Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can calculate the break-even point for your restaurant. It means you will be able to answer the question, how much should I get in revenue in order to start earning profit? In fact, the key to understanding cost, volume, profit relationships lies in understanding that there are fixed costs in any operation, regardless of sales volume and that it's necessary to generate sufficient total volume to cover both fixed and variable costs. A cost volume profit analysis helps predict the sales dollars and volume required to achieve desired profit or break even based on your known cost. And it's very important here, the known cost. So the break even point it's a point where operational expenses are exactly equal to the sales volume. So here, look what we're having here graphically. We can see the break-even point. The first line that we're having, it's the sales, okay? And here, the second line we're having, it's the total cost. And as you can see, when the number of units increase, the sales in dollars will increase. So this is why it's a positive relationship. And also the total cost, because the total cost, we know it's variable cost and fixed cost. So whenever the units, the number of units produced will increase, also the total cost will increase. So as you can see in this area here in red, where the total cost here, it's greater than the total sales. So this is why we're having a loss. However, in this area here, you see the sales or the total sales, it's greater than total cost and this is why we're having profit. At this point, where total cost is equal total sales, this is the break-even point. And this point, we will try to calculate it based on the income statement that we're having here. So we're having the sales and we're having the different costs. So the first step is to know what are the costs that they are fixed and the costs that they are variable? So here we're having several assumptions. We're having that 40% of salaries and wages, employee benefits, 40% of employee benefits are fixed costs. Also other controllable expenses, occupancy, interest expense, depreciation, all of these, they represent my fixed cost. And here we're having cost of food and cost of beverage and we're having 60% of salaries and wages, and also 60% of employee benefits are part of variable cost. So in order to start, we start by calculating the fixed cost. So as we said, we're having 40% of salaries and wages. It means 0 0.4 times the salaries and wages, it's here. Plus employee benefits, 40% of employee benefits. So this is why 0 0.4 times the employee benefits. Plus other controllable expenses, they are all uh, part of fixed cost. Plus the occupancy cost, plus the interest expense, plus depreciation, okay? And like this, we calculated the fixed cost. So the total fixed cost that we're having for this restaurant, it's $271,818. Now we move to calculate the variable cost. So we're having the cost of food plus the cost of beverage plus 60% of salaries and wages because we already have 40% that they are fixed and the remaining will be variable. So 0 0.6 times the salaries here. We have to click on times the salaries and wages plus 60% also of the employee benefits. So as you can see here, we calculated the fixed cost and we calculated the variable cost. So we have, in order to calculate the break-even point, we have to calculate first the variable rate. The variable rate, it's the variable cost, it means 420, 977 divided by the sales, $787,000. So here it's 0 0.53. It means for every dollar that we are getting in revenue, 53 cents goes for the variable cost. 
Now also we have to, uh, to calculate the contribution to margin. Contribution to margin for the overall operation is defined as the dollar amount that contributes to covering fixed and providing for a profit. So we can calculate that one minus the variable rate. Why? Because usually total sales, it's equal to variable cost plus fixed cost my, uh, plus profit. So here the fixed cost and profit, okay, they are part of total sales and the other part is the variable uh, cost percentage, which is the variable rate, okay? So now in order to calculate the break even point in dollars, so it's the fixed cost that we're having here and we already calculated it, divided by the contribution margin. So here in this restaurant, in the case of this restaurant, we need to have a sales volume of $584,446 to cover only our fixed cost. It means we didn't earn any dollar in revenue, okay? So this is, uh, this uh, number, it's the break-even point that we're having here. Now also the break-even point could be calculated by number of customers, it means, or the number of units. So it's the fixed cost that we already calculated it, divided by the contribution margin per, per unit. So here we're having for this restaurant, the contribution margin per unit, it's $12, okay? So we divide by 12. So how we can read this number? It means we have to sell 22,652 units in order to break even. It means from this point, I can start earning profit. So at this point, I'm only covering variable cost and fixed cost. Finally, if I'm having a certain target or a certain objective regarding my profit, and based on this operation, I want to uh, earn a profit of 100,000. So in order to calculate how much in revenue should uh, I, um, I sell, okay, I have to uh, add the fixed cost, so we're having the fixed cost, plus the desired profit that I want to earn, divided by the contribution uh, margin, okay, so 0 0.5. So here what you're having, in order to earn $100,000 in profit, I need to sell uh, in volume $799,460. Thank you for watching this video. If you're having any question, please write it down in the comments and subscribe to the channel.